Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel. My name is Mike and today's video is going to be my winter coat collection. Well, not entirely my winter coat collection because I also decided to throw in the handful of like more spring, summer kind of jackets that I have. I don't have too many of those. For some reason, I really do enjoy a winter coat more so than like a spring summer coat. Um, we tend to have quite mild weather where I live. It's sort of like in between. It can be freezing cold, but it's not all the time. We just get a lot of wind, a lot of rain, and sort of like the time period where you can really wear a lightweight jacket is like limited to like three months a year, it seems. <laughs> so uh, yeah, for me, I can wear a lot of these things for most of the year, and I definitely have sort of like a gradation of like going from most lightweight to like thickest. So I decided to wear a lightweight knit, some jeans, and some black boots, keeping it very simple and very basic in the outfit so I can truly show you very nicely what all of these coats would look like on. So let's get started. Right, first jacket. This is my faux leather jacket from Forever 21. This is one that I already showed you before, and uh, I've had this for quite some time. I tend to have a faux leather jacket on hand 
at all times. Would I like to upgrade at some point in time to a full-on leather jacket? Probably, however, ever since I moved to a different city a few years ago, meaning I now have to ride my bike rather than walk everywhere, I don't really wear this anymore. So I still have it because I like having a jacket like this on hand. However, in terms of actual wear, <laughs> this is just no longer a staple in my wardrobe because it's just, it's a bit too short in the back. So if you ride a bike, I don't know if you know anything about that, but then all the wind kind of like sweeps up your back if your coat isn't long enough. And this kind of goes up in the back and it actually works best if you can wear it open like this. So I can only wear this like two days in the year <laughs> by now, but yeah, it is a really, really good one. So that's why I don't want to declutter this because I don't want to be without a faux leather jacket because I do sometimes like, like to layer this over dresses or over other things. So I don't really wear it as an outerwear piece so much anymore, but I definitely sort of use it as an accessory. All right, jacket number two. And the reason for no longer wearing any other kind of jacket in the spring summer season would be this guy right here. This is an oversized denim jacket from H&M. And I really wanted a like men's style, like as if I stole it from my boyfriend, which I don't have uh, kind of situation. Um, so that's what I wanted this to look like. And I need to cuff this because else the sleeves are just a little bit long on me. Uh, that's how oversized it is. And then they just did this really randomly. It's not even from the men's section. And this has just been my absolute favorite jacket for like the spring summer season. I wear this from like the moment we get a bit of nicer weather until the moment I can no longer wear this in the fall time. Because this is a sturdy full on like cotton jacket, it's thin enough that you can wear it like in hotter weather as well. But if you layer a knit underneath it, you can make it work for a very, very long time. And you do like it if my jacket uh, sort of uh, gives me enough room to breathe, you could say. It's a little bit more oversized and that's why you can put quite chunky knits underneath this. And especially if they don't have a high neck, you can very easily wear this for months on end. So that's another reason why I haven't been wearing my faux leather jacket all that much. Other than that, it's very, very basic. What I like about this is that it has like good pockets here and you do get two real pockets here too. So it's uh, not a jacket that allows me to like lose a lot, you could say. So it's also great from that perspective. And I don't mind a bit of a double denim moment. <laughs> I kind of like that. So yeah, this is a great jacket overall. All right, so this is the next jacket that I have. And this is definitely a summertime jacket that I take with me whenever I travel or go somewhere where I need a jacket. Because again, this is just, it's a parka and it's not necessarily my favorite thing, but again, it's one of those classic things to own. It has this thing that when you close it all the way up, you can also cinch it in at the waist, which is nice. And it has this elastic down here. So it's just, it's really, really nice. It's from H&M and it again has pockets like this, but then this also has bucket style pockets at the front. So again, for travel, this is just such a great lightweight jacket. And what I love about it is that it's not very wrinkly. So you can very easily roll this up and because it doesn't weigh much like a denim jacket, it's just, it's going to weigh kilos. So this is great if you travel by plane and you only have a certain amount of um, like kilos you can take with you and you still want to bring a jacket, but you're not wearing it on the day. Like this is just great. And because it has a really nice high neck, which again, you have ties, so you can really sort of like really get nice and cozy if you'd have to. This is great for like hiking, going around town on cooler days, or if you're in a slightly cooler climate, this works really well. Really great one. I've had this for more than a decade. I bought this when I still taught secondary school. All right, so this is the next jacket I'd like to show you. And this is one of my new additions. I definitely get some new things. I decluttered quite a few coats over the summertime, which meant I knew I had to get some new things this season to uh, sort of make up for it, you could say. I don't have to. I know it's perfectly fine if you just have one coat, <laughs> but I like a bit of variation, people. That's just who I am. But yeah, this is quite new. This is one of those flannel, jackets you could say it's a shirt but it's also a jacket at the same time because it's a bit thicker and it's a flannel if i'm not sure if i mentioned that it's from h&m and it's got this navy check sort of pattern to it i don't own a lot of patterned coats 
So I thought this could make a, ni a nice addition. That way, these usually come super duper oversized, and that's what I didn't want. I wanted this to be a bit more fitted, so that I can get more wear out of it, because I think that very oversized look is a little bit too now. So I decided to size down on this. This is an extra small. I'm not an extra small. But yeah, I can still close it. But the way I had intended to wear this is, it's not going to happen for a while, but I love visiting festivals in the summertime, if we can. And then this, I, I can just see myself throwing this on to a festival and just have that layer that I need, but I can still very easily tie this around my waist. It's thick, it's warm, but not too warm. And it's just, it's got a good weight to it as well. So for me, again, maybe not something I'm going to wear a lot on the daily, but a lightweight jacket like this is just going to come in handy, I just know. All right, so I said that that was the last lightweight jacket that you saw, but I think that for most people, the next couple of coats I'm about to show you and jackets I'm about to show you are still quite lightweight. However, for my lifestyle, I have found out, and this is why I decluttered quite a few coats over the summertime, I don't need very thick coats because I tend to ride my bike wherever I go, which means I get a free bit of exercise, but it also means you do get to your heart rate going, you could say. So I tend to overheat quite quickly, which is why I bought some thicker jackets that I think most people will just, you know, they would think, oh, I get two weeks of wear out of this. I wore this for six, seven, maybe eight weeks straight from like the end of September till the end of November. <laughs> I kind of just wore this and what it is is a denim jacket, but then it has this faux sheepskin lining and where I've tried on these kind of jackets in the past They only have the lining in the body. This one has lining not this kind of lining But it does have some like puff lining in the sleeves as well So this is fully lined you get a really nice color and if you close it all the way It goes high up enough that this is you know warm enough for me that I don't even really need to wear a scarf. You can put your hands in your pockets like this, it has got bucket styles, and you get another bucket style pocket here. So again, super practical. It's a bit lighter than the one that I have for like the spring summertime, but yeah, I just knew from how much wear I got out of that denim jacket that a thicker denim jacket for like the fall winter season would be a really safe bat to add to my wardrobe, so that's why. We have this one. If we can have a fully lined denim jacket, and we could have a fully lined parka as well, of course. This is from Primark. I've had this again for years. Like literally, this is one of the oldest jackets I own. I had the zipper replaced in it uh, because that broke on me. It's from Primark, so not the best quality. But this is again, it's like a full on cotton jacket. And I love wearing this because it has that lining as well. Uh, but this is even softer. I love wearing this on like days where I feel a bit shitty <laughs> uh, because this is just a really nice like warm hug when you put it on. I don't really wear it on the daily that much anymore, but I love wearing this whenever I've been to the gym, which again is not as much as I had hoped to because we're in lockdown. But whenever the weather gets colder, I love throwing this jacket on and it keeps me warm on the way back. It's got a really nice, I'm not sure you can see it, but it's got a hood that is also lined with that same sort of furry lining. So I just kind of like disappear in this whole thing. And then I just feel super warm and cozy and I don't get super cold on the way back. Alrighty, so this is another H&M coat. I have a lot of H&M coats. I tend to buy them in the sale though if they are a little bit more out there. Uh, and this is one of those mustard yellow numbers in this like bog teddy kind of design. And I'm, I love the buttons on this. It's like a faux leather like knot. And then it has it's like really cute color as well. This is one I haven't worn out yet. I bought it last year in the sales, like very, very late, like late February, and the, it was just a bit warm to wear it. I think this is going to be perfect right now. Like this is something I can for certainly, like certainly wear. However, I've, I haven't really worn this because again, it, it does have a bit of length in the back, but I think because we just haven't been going out as much, I've been skipping this a bit. But yeah, I do really like this and I bought this, I kind of, I kept this one over another mustard coat I used to have, which was longer and more like a classic cut. But I like this boxy fit and I just think it's a little bit more special. Just need to start wearing it really. It's a really lovely one. And another H&M purchase. I believe this was in the same haul as the yellow coat you just saw me put on. This is a snow leopard faux leather, faux leather, faux fur coat. 
and I just, I love this thing to death. I definitely have been wearing this one. It's got snap buttons, which is great. A lot of uh, faux fur coats don't even have buttons of any kind. And I like how this, again, goes super high up the neck so you don't really have to wear it with a scarf or anything. This is nice and cozy. And it's got pockets and then it's got a bit of a longer length on me. So this is perfect for what I need. It's not too long, but you'll see in a minute that I love a good long coat too. It's a bit shorter and I just thought this was great. Uh, this was my replacement for another leopard print coat that I used to own by, from Mango, but I got rid of that, kept this one. All right, so the next one is another H&M number, and this one was not in a sale, but I had been lusting after a good trench coat for the longest time, and I couldn't find one because a lot of them only come in like very light beige shades, and I'm pale, and I've got fair hair, so it would just wash me out, and if because it's going to be like the main thing you see, it just wasn't working out. And then they did this darker, almost like tobacco, chocolatey brown shade. And this worked so well on me. It was a bit more expensive for H&M. It was definitely like up there in price. Like most of their trench coats are like around 50 euros. This was like 80 or 90, but I got so much wear out of this. I got it a little late for, for me to be wearing it in the springtime, but I wore this in the fall time. It was this and that uh, denim jacket. It's lightweight, but it is fully lined. It is a really, really good trench coat. It's got a nice weight to it as well, which is why it drapes really well. This is just, this was a really, really good deal. Um, or at least this was a really good buy for, on my part. I'm really happy that I got this now and that I've got a good trench coat that can just see me through the day. It's a classic. Let me close it for you as well. And then you just take these, well, <laughs> and then you just have it like this. Um, this works really well. I just love it. I feel a little inspector gadget in it though. Oh, just a little bit. So this coat is not from H&M for a change. It's from Zara. I love a good Zara coat. Zara does some really nice tailoring, I have to say. And this is a navy coat with a brushed wool finish. It doesn't mean it gets lint all, all covered in, like it's covered in lint all the time. I finally found a good enough lint brush that can actually take them off. Hallelujah. So that's making me wear this coat a lot more often. It is double breasted. Let me show you. And then it's like, it's almost like a men's style coat, you know? It's like that sort of pea coat, but then longer almost. Um, and I just really, really like it. It's a very classic sort of shape. This is one I do have to wear a scarf with, unfortunately. But yeah, this is just a lovely navy coat. It's got a nice sort of drape to it. It's got a nice bit of weight, and it has a good enough wool count that it's not too, too warm, but it, it works for what I need on the daily. Because I love that navy coat so much, I knew when I spotted this beige number that I had to snatch it up. This is also from Zara, in case you're wondering. And I, I, I like beige. But as I already mentioned, with trench coats, it can really make me look washed out. This is the kind of camely beige kind of shade that does work on me. So I was very happy to find this because I tried on so many of these wool blend beige coats because they're such a classic, so they are everywhere all the time. But the shades were always a bit off. It was too warm, too, like it just, it didn't really work. Whereas with this, I feel it does. This is single breasted. I do prefer the way it drapes when it's open rather than closed, but you do definitely need a scarf with this. Uh, it's got quite long sleeves and it just has these bucket style pockets. It's a very simple coat. I got this on sale, so I'm very happy about that because I definitely didn't want to spend too much money on a coat like this. I did wear this a few times, especially when the weather, the weather started to become a bit cooler. I definitely busted this out. This also has that sort of like well, almost like a more hairy kind of texture. It's not necessarily brushed wool, but it has a bit of texture to it. So it's not entirely smooth, which is something I also appreciate. All right, so this is another H&M number, and this is one that where I wasn't sure at first, but because it's red, I knew I had to keep it. I did have a different red coat in my previous coat collection from Only, but that was a like bathrobe style with a sash. And it just wasn't very practical because it would always like move around because it didn't have a button to keep the coat in place. So after a while I was wearing it and then I would just, it would just flap open even if I was tying the sash. 
So it wasn't very practical, and then I spotted this, I was like, great, that I have another red coat again. It's got two buttons down the front, but it is single-breasted. It is a bit longer, it sort of hits me around my knee, which is a good length on me, I find. And then it just has a full length. It does have a bit of wool to it as well, which the other one definitely didn't. Uh, that was a bit thinner. <coughs> so yeah, this is a nice red coat. I like having a few coats that add a pop of color. I'm currently still looking for a green one because I decluttered my green coat and I'm like, I need like a nice rich foresty green, but haven't found one yet that I like. But yeah, I did already find a replacement for my red coat that wasn't perfect. This was a bit of an impulse buy, I'm not gonna lie. It's from Mango. It is current season. I'm not sure if you can still get it. It might be on sale, but it's this lovely burgundy like really, really rich wine color. I feel my camera is kind of making it seem brighter. Maybe if I move a bit, a bit back, like it's this really rich wine colored burgundy faux fur coat. And this I kind of got because I got rid of my mango faux fur coat that was in my co-collection last year. That was in a tobacco brown. And I just felt it, it didn't look right on me. It was comfy, it was great, it was a good coat, but I spotted this and I was like, ooh, <laughs> this would be so much more perfect. It has a really, really high neck, which means that if you close it, let me see where the little closure is. This has these like little hooks, which is not the best, but it means that you can just really, again, cozy up really nicely because it's so high up the neck. I do like how it doesn't close all the way down, so I could potentially ride my bike in this quite easily because it does have that little flap at the bottom. So I do really like that. And yeah, this is just, it's a good one. But again, something you don't have to wear a scarf with because it's so high up the neck. And I just love that. Oh, I think I closed it the wrong way. Oh no, you can close this. You can close it all the way up if you'd like. You can really sort of <laughs> be really nice and toasty in this one. All right, so this is my other Primark coat. This is a duffel coat in a tobacco color that's a bit longer lined. And this was the coat I wore all winter last year. Like, I barely wore any other coat, so this coat definitely needed a bit of TLC over the summertime. Because it's Primark, it had a lot of pilling all over it very quickly. So I definitely bought a debubbler to uh, make this work a bit longer. I also fixed the zipper on this. I fixed the, the pocket over here to, uh, make it last me another season or two. I'm not sure how long this will last, but I love duffel coats. And for a while, I just couldn't find any. <laughs> I remember when I was a student, I had a bright red one that I loved. And what I also love about this one, my hair is a bit in the way, but it's got, like the other one, a really nice hood that has the lining again that I love. And it doesn't, ha it doesn't have that nice soft lining in the body of the coat, but just have that puffed style. And this is, it's not super duper thick. So for riding my bike, it's it just works really well. I just wish it had slightly better pockets perhaps because these are quite big and open. But yeah, it has a full on zip and then also this duffel closing closure. So it's just extra secure and it keeps you nice and warm, even though it's not so warm that you start to overheat, if you know what I mean. So. Right, so this is another H&M number. I bought this last year, and this has been my current coat of choice to wear. I definitely got a lot of wear out of it in the past two weeks. Um, it is a fully wool coat. It was a little bit more expensive on the H&M website last year, but I love the color of it. It is beige and navy. In certain lighting, it looks a little bit black, but it's definitely like a really, really deep dark blue. And that's why I feel it works really well. It is that bathrobe style, but where that red coat I used to own didn't have a closure that kept it in place, this has snap buttons. I like how it drapes if it's loose, but I also like the way this looks if I wear it uh, closed, which is why I like it. And it's super long on me. So for the winter time, I love a really long coat because I feel it just protects you from the elements so much better <laughs> uh, than if you have something that's a little bit shorter, you could say. I like the length of the sleeves on this. I like the shoulders in here. It's got nice big lapels and with a nice wool gray scarf, this just looks lovely on me. All right, so this is a coat from Only, and this is another coat that I've had for quite some time. It is a double-breasted coat, but I actually prefer how it drapes 
when I wear it open, so I tend to wear it mostly like this nowadays. Even though when this was like a new hot off the press coat, I definitely wore it a lot more. Right now I just kind of wear this if I want something fun in my outfit. Um, it's got a Prince of Wales check with a navy and a burgundy brown running through it. I love pairing this with a bright red scarf just to add a pop of color with the print. It's got really cool buttons as well, which I love. And this is just, it's a nice one. It's not the thickest coat though, but because it has the length, I do really like this. And again, I've had this for four or five years. Back when these coats became all the rage, I tend to, I bought this with a gift card I got from friends for my birthday. And um, it's been a great purchase ever since I can get rid of this because it's one of the three coats I own with a, with a print. All right, so. Let me talk this coat. This is a Zara number, and this I got this season. And again, I bought this as a replacement because this is, uh, I used to own a light gray coat that I loved, but it was just, it wasn't looking the best. It just, it looked very tatty. So I wanted a gray coat, but one that wasn't boring. And then I spotted, it's, it's got a print. Um, it's got this like herringbone print on it in like a charcoal gray and a lighter gray But from a distance this just looks like a boring gray coat. It's double breasted It does have a deeper V so again something you need to probably layer a scarf with and then it's got pockets But I just love the length on this like isn't this like oh, Perfection and remember I love a really long coat in the winter time so I thought that this could Add that longer style but without it being super oversized I find that so many coats nowadays are so big and bulky that they just drown me too much but this I felt worked really really well it's got a nice bit of length it's almost down to my ankle <laughs> yeah it's almost down to my ankles and then it has this really big lapel which I just love look at that Look at that point, I just love it. This also feels like really, really good quality. It doesn't have a sash or anything, it's just like plain, just straight up and down coat with three buttons. It's double breasted and pockets. Super simple, but I really think this is a classic coat that will last me for years. Another very long coat, and this is a faux fur black coat from H&M that was quite affordable, and yet the faux fur on this feels so soft and luxurious like for a faux fur coat this was very affordable i think i paid 60 euros for it and as you can see on me again it's down to my ankles this is like wearing a blanket like i've worn this on days where it's been like super windy and cold and i just have to pop out to grab something really quickly and it just it just mm, it just it, you may, it, it just makes you want to hug yourself it just does I, again, kind of just spotted this and bought it on a whim. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but this is just, it's, it, this is, the, is this the must have in your wardrobe? No, but it's like, if you wanna keep very, very warm and toasty, <laughs> this is probably the one for you. And again, it doesn't have too much neck showing. So again, on a lot of days, you can just kind of go like this and it's still fine. So yeah, this is just, it's like a blanket that you can wear. So we, we're done with the H&M coats because this one is again from Zara. I told you I love a good Zara coat. And this is what got my Zara coat love train actually started because this is again, a very old one. I, this is a, a winter coat that I bought because I actually needed a winter coat. Like the one I had, I had to just ditch. And then I bought this as a replacement and I've kept it around ever since. This, the lining of this is completely ripped and I've meant it so many times. And it's just one of those coats where I can get rid of this. It isn't perfect anymore, um, but it is a lovely one that I, again, if I can wear it open, it works really well. It doesn't, I don't like it as much anymore when I close it. Let's, let's put it that way. It kind of, and especially because this button always be, comes undone, like just pops open automatically. But yeah, I don't really like it like this anymore. But like this, I love it. It's got this teddy texture to it. This is one of the very first teddy coats I ever found and bought. And one of the reasons why I can't get rid of this is, uh, 
this. <laughs> it's got the best hood possible. If it's raining, this is just going to cover your face and you won't get wet. So I love it for that, even though it's a fabric coat. So if it gets wet, <laughs> it does take a long time to dry. But yeah, I just love that. And the lining of this is stunning. It's like a tweed. And I actually have a, co uh, a scarf from Zara that they did like two years later that has exactly the same print. So I always wear that scarf with this coat. I love it. It's just, it's such an easy one to just throw on, right? And this is the final coat I have to show you. I think this was the last coat I showed you in my previous coat collection. This is from a store called CNA, CNA. And I bought this very randomly and it ends up being one of the warmest coats I own. And the reason for that is that this is fully lined with this faux lamy, and then it has a faux suede on the outside, meaning it's completely windproof. If you go outside in the Netherlands and it's windy, one of the major problems you will have with a wool coat is that the wind still goes right through it. And if it's then a very cold wind, you're still like freezing your nipples off, which you don't want. So with something like this, if it's cold, snowing, and there's just a gale of like, I don't know how many knots, like it just, if it's like one of those really terrible days, this is the best coat ever because it doesn't let anything come through. Plus, we know how I like a good hood by now. Look at that, I just, this again, it feels like a warm hug when you wear this. It's like my windbreaker winter coat that I wear if it's truly, truly terrible out there. We usually have like two of those days a year, so I don't wear this a whole lot, but I can get rid of it because if we get that kind of weather, I would regret not owning this anymore. All right, there we have it. Those were all the coats that I wanted to show you in today's video. Let me know in the comment down below which coat was your favorite. Like I mentioned in my intro, I love a good coat, and especially in the winter time, because it's the first thing that people see. I do like to change it up and wear like different things from time to time. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more by me. I make three new videos a week over on this channel. So please stay tuned for more. And I hope to see you in my next one. Bye-bye.